Hello everyone! Ngayon po ay pag-uusapan natin ang mga solid sa geometry. And ito po ay lesson pa rin sa grade 6, sa so Mathematics 6, quarter 3, week 1. Okay? Right, so kung pag-uusapan natin ay, ay solids, we are actually talking about solid geometry. So, nandun lang sa pangalan, solid. So, solid geometry is all about solids or spatial figures. Bakit spatial? It's actually from the word space, kaya spatial. So, yung solid figures are tinatawag din, ay tinatawag din na spatial figures uh, because may mga spaces sila sa loob. Solids, di ba? And, these solids are also called 3Ds since they have three dimensions. Meron silang length, width, at saka height. So, ibig sabihin yung flat figures dahil meron silang length and width lang, ay di 2Ds yun. Diba? And then, yung line dahil merong length lang ang line. Pwede mo lang sukatin sa linya or mga line segments ay yung haba, gaano kahaba. So, 1D lang yun. So, one dimension, kaya 1D. So, ang linya again is 1D. Yung flat figures uh, or plain figures are 2Ds. At saka yung solid figures are 3Ds. Right? And, there are two main types of solids. Okay? The polyhedrons or also called polyhedra. Okay? Singular is polyhedron. And then, the non-polyhedron, so either polyhedron ang isang solid geometry, uh, or isang solid, okay, or non-polyhedron, okay, and then the rest ay mga irregular na yun, okay, regular solid. So, uh, among the common uh, solids, so tinatawag sila as polyhedrons or non-polyhedrons, alright? So, ano ba yung polyhedrons? They are made up of polygons, they are made up of, of flat figures. Sa, um, sa dati nating um, video, sinabi ko doon na a line is made up of points, di ba? And then, polygons are made up of line segments. Ngayon naman, polyhedrons are made up of polygons. So, para magkaano lang yan, okay? Related lang. And then, pag hindi polyhedron or non-polyhedron, edi any, any of the surfaces is not flat. Okay, so, kahit pa yung ibang surfaces niya ay flat, okay, polyhedrons, or polygons, kung ang ibang ay, kung ang ibang, uh, ano niya, faces ay hindi flat, uh, kung may curve, edi, eh hindi na yan polyhedron. Okay, so, let's have more on this. Okay, um, yan. So, polyhedrons muna, pag-uusapan natin. Okay? So, the three main groups of polyhedrons na naman are grouped into three. So, three main groups na niyan are prisms. We have the pyramids. And the last one is platonic solids. Ano ba yung prisms? In the description, sabi dito, prisms have two equal polygonal bases. Meron siyang rectangular faces. And Prisms are named according to their bases. So, paano kaya yun? Basta sabi lang dalawang polygonal bases. So, ibig sabihin, yung base niya, hindi dapat circle. Polygon dapat made up of uh, line segments yung side ng polygon, di ba? And then, pyramids naman, ganun din. Pero isa lang ang base, one polygonal base. Triangular ang faces niya at meron siyang isang vertex or tuktok. And then, pyramids are named according to their single Base. So, pareho itong dalawa, okay? Bibigyan mo siya ng pangalan gamit ang kanilang bases, okay? Ang kaibahan lang sa prism, dalawa ang bases niya. Sa pyramids, isa ang base niya, tsaka may meron siyang isang vertex. Tapos, rectangular ang faces nito, triangular naman ang faces nito isa. Uh, later on, mas maintindihan nyo yan as we go along uh, the lesson, okay? And then, yung pangatlong uh, group are Platonic solids. Ang sabi dito, platonic solids have the same regular polygon as 
faces. So, walang, uh, hindi mo matatawag na base yung isang face kasi pareho yung itsura lahat ng faces niya. And equal. Kasi, kasi nga sabi regular polygon. So, equal ang lahat ng faces niya and it's a regular polygon. And then, the same number of polygons meet at each vertex. So, ibig sabihin sa isang corner, okay, parehong number of polygons ang nag-meet. Okay? Then, Tignan natin with these examples, okay? So, first, we'll start with prisms. Right? So, again, prisms have two equal bases. Polygonal bases sa rectangular faces. And then, prisms are named according to their bases. So, let's take a look at this example. Ayan, okay. So, kung nahalata nyo, okay, kung dito tayo titingin, itong part na to, ay tatlo ito, isa dito, isa sa gilid, so, makita natin sa ano, isa din sa kabilang gilid. So, tatlo lahat ito, okay. Ang, ang sabi lang naman, dalawa ang equal bases. Kaya, ibig sabihin, itong nasa gilid, hindi yan base eto yung base natin. So, yung dalawang bases nito ay ito sa taas at ito sa baba. So, kung titignan mo, ang base niya is a triangle. Diba? Tapos sa baba din, ang base is a triangle. Kaya, um, bibigyan natin ito ng pangalan based on its uh, base. Kung ano yung base niya. Okay? And then, ito na yung faces. So, ito rectangle. Kaya nga sabi, rectangular faces. So, meron siyang rectangular faces. Okay? And another good example for this is this one. Ayan, yung Toblerone. Kung titignan mo yung base, dalawang base nito, has pakiti dito. So, hindi kailangan uh, nakatayo yung solid mo. Pwede namang um, pag ganito, tsaka yung base niya ay nandito sa gilid. Hindi ibig sabihin na kung nakaganito siya ay base na sa ilalim. Hindi ha? So, ito yung base niya. Basta hanapin nyo yung dalawang equal. So, ito yung base niya. So, triangle yung base niya. Dito sa kabila, triangle din yan. At etong nasa harap natin, ito, ito yung isa sa faces niya. And tatlo ito, di ba? So, kung babaklasin natin ito, ito itsura niya. Kaya, ito na yung faces. Okay? So, ito isa, dalawa, and tatlo. Kaya, tatlong faces, dalawa ang bases niya. And, bibigyan to ng pangalan, um, base dito sa triangle na ito. So, ang pangalan nito is triangular prism. Hindi triangle prism. Triangular prism. Okay? And then, ito ay may limang faces. Anim na vertices and then nine edges. Ano ba yung vertices? Plural sa vertex. Okay? So, vertex ay yung mga corner. ba diba? Ito yon Okay? So, kung bibilangin natin yung faces, okay, kasama yung dalawang bases, anim sila lahat. ba diba? So, ito isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat, lima sa ilalim. Kung baklasin mo, ito na nga yun. Oh. Ito. One, two, three, 4, 5. So, yung 5 faces na sinabi dito, sinama ang dalawang bases. So, 5 faces. Tapos, 6 na vertex or 6 na vertices. So, 1, 2, 3. Tapos, sa baba, it's 1, 2, 3. Kaya, 6 lahat. And then, yung edges, ang description ng edges ay kung saan nag-meet ang dalawang uh, polygon. So, itong polygon na to, a triangle, nag-meet sa rectangle dito. So, dito siya nag-meet. So, ito mga linya na to. Ito ang mga edges. So, dito sa taas, mayroong tatlo. Sa baba, edi mayroon ding tatlo, di ba? Then, sa gilid, may isa, dalawa, tatlo. So, nasa likod. So, tatlo, 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 edi nine lahat, di ba? So, five faces, six vertices, and nine edges. Pero, merong, uh, merong pattern dito kapag Prism ang pag-uusapan ha. Kung prism ang pag-uusapan, tignan mo yung kanyang base. So, ang base niya ay may tatlong sides. So, kapag bibilangin mo yung faces, dadagdagan mo lang ng 2 ang number of sides. So, number of sides ay 3 plus 2, that would be 5. And then, sa vertex naman, it times 2 mo. So, ang number of sides again is 3 times 2, that is 6. And then, sa edges, it times 3 mo. So, number of sides is 3. And then, times 3, you have 9. So, again, plus 2 times 2 times 3. Okay? And that works only for prism lang. Okay? So, let's have another example. 
Right? O ito. So, dito naman, ito yung dalawang basis niya. Okay? okay. Uh, kapag pahaba, usually nandito yung basis niya talaga. Okay? And then, another um, example for that is this one. Ayan, pinatayo. So, ayan. So, ang base niya is square. Tapos, kung babaklasin natin to, ito na siya. Ang tawag pala nito ay nets. Okay? So, ito ang net ng solid na ito. Okay? And since square ang base niya, eh, di nandun na yung pangalan, this is a square prism. Ayan. So, ito yung net ng square prism. Ibig sabihin lang, kung ito ay ikat mong ganito, tapos i-assemble mo, mabubuo ang isang ganito isang ganito. Okay? Kaya, yun ang ibig sabihin ng net of solid. So, ito ay net of the square prism. And again, since prism yan, dalawa ang basis niya, di ba? Okay? And then, kung bibilangin natin ang faces, sabi ko kanina, ang faces ay uh, bilangin mo lang ang sides ng, ano niya, ng base niya. Ang base niya is a square, so apat ang sides, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, para mabilang yung face, plus 2 lang, di ba? Plus 2, and then yung vertex ay times 2, and then yung edges ay times 3. So, that would be, ayan, 4 plus 2, that is 6 faces. 4 times 2, that is 8 vertices, vertex, yun yung mga corners ha, and then 4 times 3, that is 12, so 12 edges, so 4 dito sa taas, 4 sa baba, ah, kung, kung tutuusin yung linya lang yan, binilang mo ha, tas 4 sa gilid din, kaya times 3, okay? Next, we have, yan, okay, ngayon naman, hindi na square ang kanyang base, okay? Kung titignan mo, ito yung base niya eh. Ito yung pinakamagandang example dyan. Uh, yung mga uh, shoebox natin. Okay, ganun dun. So, rectangle dito. ba? Rectangle, rectangle ang base niya. Okay, kung babaklasin mo, ganito na siya. Rectangle ang base niya. So, nandun lang sa pangalan ng base. Rectangle. So, this is a rectangular prism. And then, pareho lang ito doon sa square prism kasi ang rectangle has four sides again, di ba? Pareho lang sila sa square four sides. Kaya, pareho sila ng number of faces, number of vertices, and number of edges. So, plus 2 times 2 times 3. At kung nakalimutan nyo nga, mag plus 2, mag times 2, or mag times 3, bilangin mo na lang. Ba? Ilang faces ba? Isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat. Sa so, magkabilang, pati sa gilid, diba? Tapos sa taas at baba, anim. O, bilangin mo ito na yun, no? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay? So, yan yung number of faces and then vertices. Bilangin mo lang din, okay? Yung mga corners and then yung edges, bilangin mo lang din. Okay? Pero nga, kung maalala pa, edi plus 2 ka lang. Plus 2 times 2 times 3. Okay? Now, this is the next one. Okay, kung titignan mo, ay, ang base niya, ma'am, ay may 5 sides. So, kapag may 5 sides, ang polygon, polygonal base ito, ba? Polygon, this is a pentagon, ba? So, yung base niya is a pentagon. Another example for that is this one. Ayan, pentagon din, ang base. Okay? So, pareho itong dalawa. And then, kung babaklasin mo, ito na yung net niya. Ayan. So, ito yung faces. So, ito klarong-klaro na. Ah, ganito pala, ma'am, ang faces. O, kaya lahat ng faces ay rectangle. Yun yung sinabi kapag prism, ba? Rectangle ang mga faces. At ang base niya, ayan, are polygons. Now, this time, ang base niya are pentagons. So, dalawang pentagon. So, ang pangalan na niya ay pentagonal. Okay, kasi pentagon yung base. Pentagonal prism. Okay, and uh, tandaan, ba Para sa faces, vertices, and edges, uh, plus 2 times 2 times 3. So, 5 ito, plus 2, 7. And then, uh, plus, uh, times 2 ulit, uh, 5 times 2, that's 10, and then 5 times 3, that's 15, diba? So, ayan. So, 7, 10, at saka 15, okay? Next, we have this one. Okay, ilan na ngayon ang sides nito? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
eight sides, di ba? So, eight sides. So, this is an octagon. Yung base niya is an octagon. Okay? And then, ang kanyang, oh, ito pa, another example dyan. Okay? Octagon yung base. So, ang kanyang net is, ayan, ganito yung net niya. So, ito yung faces niya. Okay? Walong faces, and then, dalawang um, bases. Ang pangalan niya ay base dito, di ba? So, since this is an octagon, so, ang pangalan nito is octagonal prism. Okay? And then, the number of faces ay 8 plus 2, di ba? So, number of faces ay 10. And then, 8 times 2, that's 16. 8 times 3, that's 24 ang edges. Okay? Next. Yan, next example. Bilangin natin. Simula tayo dito. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, ang base niya is a uh, 10-sided polygon which is called a decagon. ba? So, decagon ang base niya. Okay? And then, ayan. Ito kaya. Uh, decagon pa rin ba to? Tignan natin. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Pareho lang na decagon. Ang kaibahan lang, okay, star ito, irregular na ano ito, um, polygon. Kasi, uh, ano ang tawag dito minsan, uh, tinatawag ito as just a convex, a con concave na polygon. Pero, let's not talk more about that. Um, concentrate tayo sa pangalan mo na dito. So, this is uh, decagonal kasi decagon ang base niya. So, this is decagonal prism. Okay? And then, yung number of faces niya since it's a decagon, so 10 plus 2, ba? So, that is 10 plus 2, that's 12 faces. 10 times 2 yung vertex, that is 20. And then, times 10 times 3 para sa edges. And it works for both of this. Okay? So, hindi ko na sinamahan ng net kasi iba't iba itsura ng dalawa eh. Kaya lang, parehong decagonal prism ito. Na iba nga lang to. Okay? Next, we have Okay? So, let's now go to pyramids. Ano kayong kaibahan ng pyramids? Okay? Again, pyramid have, pyramids have one polygonal basis or one polygonal base. Um, triangle ang mga faces. And then, may isang vertex. And then, pyramids are named according to their base. So, pareho lang sa prism. Uh, titignan natin yung kanyang base. Okay? So, first example. Ayan. Ang base niya ay triangle, di ba? And then, meron siyang vertex dito. So, triangle ang base. Okay? Ang pangalan niya ay kukuhanin natin dun sa word na Triangle. So, another example is this one. Again, makikita mo triangle yung base. And then, kung babaklasan natin to, yung net nito ay ganito. Ayan. So, ito yung sinasabi na faces. Triangle yung faces. Ayan. Kasi triangle ito kung titignan mo eh. Tapos, binaklas mo ganito na siya. Diba? So, triangle ang faces. May isang uh, base. Okay? So, since triangle ang base, ang tawag dito ay triangular pyramid na. Hindi na prism. Pyramid na kasi meron na siyang tuktok dito. Meron na siyang vertex. Right? And then, ang number of faces nito, hindi na ito pareho sa prism. Okay? Kung titignan mo, apat lang yung faces niya eh. Diba? And, tandaan, triangle, yung kanyang base, meron tatlong sides. Eh, yung face niya ay apat lang. So, ibig sabihin nun, plus 1 ka lang. So, plus 1 ka lang sa faces. Para sa vertex, plus 1 din ulit. Kasi, ang vertex, ito lang sa isa sa tuktok eh. Tapos, tatlo dito sa baba. So, apat ulit. So, plus 1, plus 1. And then, dito na yung times 2. Kasi, yung base niya ay may tatlong sides. Times 2 mo, you have 6 edges. Kung bibilangin mo, ito yan, 1, 2, 3. Then, dito sa baba, 1, 2, 3. Kaya nga siya, 6. So, again, for pyramids, this is plus 1, plus 1, times 2. Pyramids lang yan. Sa pyramids lang yan. Okay? Right? Another example. Okay. Titignan natin ha. Yung base niya is a square. Diba? 
Ayan. Ayan yung square niya. So, ito yung base. And then, another term for the vertex is apex. Okay? So, kung nilagyan niya sa apex, uh, wag kayong magtaka. Pareho lang yan sa vertex. Okay? So, square ang um, kanyang base. And then, kung babaklasin natin to, ito na yung net niya. So, ito yung base niya, which is a square. And then, ito yung faces. Ayan. So, ulit, ang faces are triangles. Bakit kaya triangles? Kasi pag pinatayo mo yan dito, pinatayo mo, nandito na sa taas yung ano niya, vertex, pareho dito, eh talaga na naman kailangan mo ang triangle kasi may vertex sa taas eh. Kaya, triangular faces, tapos yung base niya is square. So, this is a square pyramid. Okay? And then, again, plus 1 plus 1 times 2. So, 4 plus 1, 4 plus 1, 4 times 2. And now, you'll get the number of faces, the number of vertices, and the number of edges. Another one. Ayan, ngayon, ang base niya is a rectangle. Diba? So, ito na yung net niya. Rectangle ang base. And then, again, ito yung triangular faces. So, since rectangle ang base, ang pangalan nito ay rectangular pyramid. Diba? And then, pareho dun sa ano, 5 faces, 5 vertices, 8 edges. So, pareho lang siya sa square pyramid. 5, 5, at saka 8 lang din. Kasi, ang number of sides nila ay pareho lang naman na 4. Diba? Now, let's have the next one. Ayan. So, yung sides ngayon ng um, base niya ay 5. So, this is a pentagon. Diba? And then, yung net ng pentagon ay, yung net nito ay eto siya. Ayan. So, yung net niya parang star. ba? So, since ang base niya is a pentagon, ang tawag natin dito is pentagonal pyramid. And then, yung number of faces ay ito 5 to, ba? Ulit, ang size ng pentagon. So, that is just plus 1, plus 1 times 2. So, 5 plus 1 that is 6. 6 and then times 2 that is 10. Kasi 5 times 2 is 10. ba? Okay. Next, we have, tignan natin ilan ang sides. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, anim ang sides niya. So, this is a hexagon. Yung, ano niya, yung base niya. And, net niya is ganito. So, tignan natin. Ulit, ito yung base, ba? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, since anim yung sides, Hexagon ang base niya. So, this is called a hexagonal pyramid. Okay? And then, ulit, yung number of faces ay 7. Ang number of vertices ay 7. And then, 12 ang edges. Bilangin nyo lang kung hindi, hindi maalala yung plus 1, plus 1, at saka times 2. Okay? Next, we have... Ayan, another example. Hala, ilang sides ba ito, ma'am? Tignan natin dito sa isa pa. Ayan, ito yung ano niya, ito yung net niya, ba? So, itong side na to, ito lang din yun, ba? O, para klaro ang pagbilang natin. So, simula tayo dito. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, Oh, ulit, ulit, ulit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, 10 talaga. Okay. So, 10. So, yung base niya is a decagon. ba? So, since decagon ang base niya, this is a decagonal pyramid. Okay? So, 10 plus 1 plus 1, diba? So, ang faces is okay, 11. Vertices ay 11. Ang edges ay 20. Okay? Right now, konting review muna tayo ulit, ha? So, we talked about polyhedrons and the first group are prisms. Okay? And then, prisms are Prisms have two equal polygonal bases, ba? Rectangular ang faces, and then prisms are named according to their bases. And then the second group na pinag-usapan natin are pyramids. One lang ang base ng pyramid, ba? Compared sa prism. So, one polygonal base, triangle ang faces, isang vertex. And the same way with prisms, pyramids are named according to their single base. So, example, ayan. Okay, so kung titignan mo, 
Okay, ang base niya is pentagon. And since dalawang bases, this is a pentagonal prism. Diba? And then, the same way, pareho ang base nila, pentagon. Kaya lang, may vertex siya. So, this is not anymore a prism, this is a pyramid. So, since pentagon ulit ang kanyang base, this is a pentagonal pyramid. So, ito yung kaibahan ng dalawa. Yung bases nila ay parehong pentagon, kaya lang this is a pyramid, this is a prism. Okay? So, yung third group natin are called platonic solids. Okay? So, tapos na tayo sa dalawa, let's talk on the third uh, group of polyhedrons which are the platonic solids. Ano ba yun? Yan. Platonic solids uh, have faces which are the same uh, regular polygon. So, ang faces niya are equal lahat. So, wala siyang base dahil equal lahat ang faces niya. Eh. Tapos, it has the same number of polygons that meet at each vertex. Ano ba ibig sabihin nun? Tignan natin yung examples. Okay? Yan again, platonic solids, same regular polygon, ang face niya, same number of polygons meet at each vertex, and take note, there are only five of them. So, lima lang ang mga platonic solids. So, one example is this one. Ayan. Okay? So, kung titignan mo, yung base niya ay, ah, uh, not necessarily base kasi equal lahat ang faces niya eh, di ba? So, ang face niya is triangle, okay? Another example is this one, ayan o. Oh. Triangle, triangle, triangle sa likod, triangle din dito. So, merong apat na triangle as its uh, faces, di ba? And then, kung babaklasin to, ayan itsura niya. Equal lahat ng triangles niyan, okay? And, tignan natin ha, okay, aha, uh, Okay, so, since equal lahat, and then apat, pag sinabing apat, okay, um, apat na equal triangle as its faces, ang tawag natin dito are tetrahedron, kasi uh, tetra uh, made of four, or four, four of, four of uh, its faces are equal, so parang ganon, so tetrahedron tawag don, okay, and it has four faces, so one, two, three, four, and then yung vertices niya ay four din, isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat, sa taas, and then six, six, six edges, and then tatlong triangles nag-meet at a vertex. So, kung ito yung vertex niya, ito makikita mo tatlo ang triangles na nakabuo niyan sa vertex na yan. Okay? Next, we have... Okay, supposed to be a play ko to hindi pala siya nagpe-play. Um, ayan. Okay, so kung titignan natin, this, this is made of um, squares, di ba? Kaya, ang, ayan, ayan yung ano niya. Ito yung kanyang um, net. Um, dalawa ang pinakita kong net nito. So kung i-assemble mo to, um, you will still come up with this figure, pati din dito. And, alam natin kung ano to, ba? This is actually what we call a cube. Okay? So, a cube has six faces. So, kung bibilangin mo, ayan siya. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Again, equal squares ang nandyan. Kaya nga, platonic, equal ang mga faces. And then, eight vertices. So, bilangin mo yung vertex. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then, isa sa likod, 8. And then, 12 edges. And then, 3 squares meet at a vertex. So, isa, dalawa, tatlo, nag-meet dito. Kaya, tatlong square. Lahat ng vertex yan, makikita mo. Tatlong square ang nag-meet. Okay? So, tawag dito again is cube. Okay? Next one is, right, ito. So, ano kaya ito? Kung titignan mo, the faces are... Uh, triangles, ba? So, apat na triangle sa taas, apat din na triangle sa baba. So, walo lahat, ba? Walong equal triangles made up this solid. Kung titignan natin ang kanyang um, net, ayan siya. Okay? So, kung bibilangin natin, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, at kapag i-assemble mo to, uh, lalabas ito. Okay? So, since walo, 
the octa, di ba? From the word octa. So, octa, this is what we call an octahedron. Okay? So, an octahedron has eight faces. Yan, kung bibilangin mo, walong faces. Kaya nga doon kinuha yung pangalan niya, di ba? Dahil sa walong faces. Um, kung naalala nyo, yung apat na, ano, yung apat ang faces, tetrahedron, di ba? Kasi tetra is uh, four. Uh, four or made of four. Yan. And then, uh, sunod is uh, cube. Okay? And then ito, octahedron. Octahedron from the word octa. Okay? So, yung cube lang eh, hindi ginamita ng ano, di ba? Uh, octahedron from the word 8. And then, ito yun na 8 faces, 6 vertices, 12 edges, and then 4 triangles meet at a vertex. Kung titignan mo yung vertex, ito yung vertex. Apat na triangle ang nag-meet dyan. Ito, 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 at saka ito. Di ba? Para mabuo ang corner na ito. So, apat na triangles. At kung titignan mo lahat, apat na triangles talaga yan ang nag-meet. Okay, next one is, okay, this one, okay, hindi talaga nag-play, okay, alright, ito na another example niya. So, kung titignan mo, ang faces niya ngayon are pentagons. So, lahat yan pentagons, pati sa likod, kung titignan mo, pentagons yan lahat, okay, and then, okay, um, kung babaklasin mo, ayan yung net niya, okay, ayan, o, oh naka-animate pa yan yung net natin eh. Okay? So, ganyan yung net niya. Okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? So, ilan lahat? Diba? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Diba? Tapos, kabila 6, di 12 lahat. So, yung 12 is from the word do de. Diba? Ang 12 na sides in a polygon ay um, do de kagon. No, ngayon naman dahil we talked about platonic solids, ito ngayon ay tinatawag na dodecahedron. So, dodecahedron na kasi hindi na ito polygon eh. Solid na to. So, dodecahedron. And then it has 12 faces. Kaya nga dodecahedron eh kasi 12 faces eh, di ba? 20 vertices, 30 edges and then tatlong pentagons nag-meet sa isang vertex. So, tignan natin. Ito yung vert vertex. So, isa, dalawa, tatlong pentagon nga. Kung dito tayo titingin, isa, dalawa, tatlong pentagon nga. ba? So, lahat ng uh, vertices niya ay may tatlong pentagons na nag-meet. Okay? And another one is ayan, ito. So, ano kaya ito? Kung titignan mo, yung faces niya ay triangles na naman. ba? So, kung triangles ang faces, okay, tignan natin, ayan, okay, so triangles ang faces, and then, ilan kaya lahat? Kung babaklasin natin to, ito itsura niya, okay, at kung bibilangin mo yan, okay, umabot yan ng 20, ang tawag sa platonic solid na ito ay icosahedron. Okay, icosahedron and an icosahedron has 20 faces, 12 vertices, 30 edges at limang triangles nag-meet at a vertex. Tignan natin lima ba? Okay, so ito yung vertex. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Tama nga, ba? And then ito yung another vertex. This is 1, 2, 3, 4 and then pang lima yung nasa likod. ba? Okay, so yun yung mga um platonic solids. Right? So, try nga natin. Okay? Um, review ulit. Solid geometry is all about solids, ba? And, ayan, we talked about polyhedrons, which are made up of polygons. And, non-polyhedrons, uh, when any surface is not flat. So, under polyhedrons, meron tayong prisms. At yun yun pag usapan na natin. Pyramids at saka platonic solids. So, ang kulang na lang are the non-polyhedrons. Konti lang itong non-polyhedrons. So, tignan natin ha. Ayan. Okay. First example. Ayan. Isang tingin pa lang. Alam nyo na. ba? So, since... Ayan. So, magandang uh, example nito is a ball. And then, kung babaklasin to, this is actually a combination of 
circle. So, yung parang ipag, uh, ipaglalagay mo sa gitna, pagsasama-sama mo siya. Okay? Um, a combination of circles. Kaya, yung ano niya, yung net niya ay ganito itsura. Okay? So, the net of this one is this one. And then, ang tawag natin dito is sphere. Uh, alam nyo na ata ito, di ba? Sphere. And, ito rin yung uh, itsura ng mga globo, di ba? And the sphere has isang face lang or just a surface. Ang iba hindi uh, tinatawag ito as face kasi surface to Curved kasi yung face niya, di ba? Curved yung surface. So, isang face or surface. Walang vertex kasi wala namang corner dyan, di ba? At walang edge. Uh, kung naalala nyo, sabi ko yung edge ay um, yun yung nag-meet nag ang dalawang polygons, di ba? Kaya mabubuo yung edge. Gilid, kaya straight dapat ang edge. Eh, wala namang straight dyan, di ba? Sa gilid niya. Kaya walang edge ang isang sphere, okay? So, hindi ito kasama sa polyhedrons kasi this is not made up of polygons, okay? Now, another one we have, ayan, oh. okay, so this is now a um, cylinder, di ba? Oh, babaklasin natin ito itsura niya, so this is a cylinder. And pinakamagandang example dyan in real life ay yung mga um, uh, milk cans and then water tanks. Kasi mga water tanks, ang ibang mga water tanks ay cylindrical then in shape, okay? Kapag ang isang figure ay parang cylinder, tatawagin mo yan as cylindrical. Okay? So, ito yung ano niya, ito yung nets niya. And a cylinder has three faces. Okay? Pag titignan mo yung net niya, ayan no. Pag babaklasin mo kasi itong part na ito, okay? Magiging rectangle na siya. Tapos meron siyang dalawang circular bases. Okay? Pero walang vertex again at walang edge. Kasi so, hindi mo makakonsider na edge ito eh. Binaklas lang natin kasi ito eh. Kaya, kung gagawin mo siya dito, wala ka na makikita ang straight dyan. Diba? So, hindi mo yan matatawag na edge. Kaya, zero pa rin yung edge. Okay? And then, another one is, ayan. A good example for that is this one. And then, kung babaklasin mo, yung net niya is ganito. And this is a cone. Okay? Madali lang matandaan kasi ang maalala mo is the ice cream cone, di ba? And then, kung titignan mo yung faces niya, ay dalawa lang, di ba? So, two faces, meron siyang isang vertex kasi yung vertex ay dulo, di ba? Basta parang corner, basta parang tuktok. So, vertex. And then, walang edge ulit. Zero edge ulit. Okay? And then, okay, the last one is this one. So, ito yung shape figures ng ating mga salbabida, di ba? At ang tawag natin dito is torus. Okay? So, wala na akong binigay na, na, na net nito. Basta ito yung mga torus, yung parang donut din, di ba? So, yun lang lahat. So, these are all the polyhedrons at saka any other solids aside from this solids na pinakita natin are just irregular solids. Okay? So, ito yung mga pinakita ko ay mga common solids na uh, pwede nating bigyan ng specific names. Okay? So, tignan natin. Name the following solids. Tignan natin kung maalala. Okay? Ayan. So, this one has a square um, base. So, this is what we call a square pyramid. Diba? Another one. Okay. The base niya is a hexagon. So, this is a hexagonal pyramid. Another one. Ayan. This is a sphere. Madali lang, di ba? I-post nyo yung video para if ever hindi nyo pa alam yung uh, sagot, um, anahin nyo muna. Hulaan nyo muna. Okay? Next one is, ayan. Ito, madali lang, di ba? This is a cylinder. Next one. Okay. Ang base niya is pentagon. So, this is a Pentagonal prism. This one is, ang base niya is again, pentagon. Then, meron siyang vertex. So, this is a pentagonal pyramid. Diba? This one has eight equal faces. So, eight equal faces. This is an octahedron. Diba? Next one. Ayan. This is a cone. Madali lang. 
Next one is, ayan, ang base niya or bases niya are rectangle. So, this is a rectangular prism. Okay? Another one, ayan, ang base niya ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, hexagon ulit. Pareho sila ng base. Kaya lang, this is not a pyramid, this is a hexagonal prism or this is a hexagonal prism yes and then this is a toes ba and then ito okay kung titignan mo okay equal lahat ng mga ano niya mga faces niya pwede mo tong tawagin as tetrahedron okay now kung sakali pwede mo ring bigyan ito ng another name uh, kung titingin ka dito, you would say na, ma'am, ito yung base na ma'am eh. It's triangle. So, pwede ko rin itong tawagin ma'am as triangular pyramid, di ba? Okay. Um, anyway, um, if ever nalilito kayo, edi, you could still try uh, or um, say this is a triangular pyramid. Kasi triangle naman talaga yung uh, dito sa baba niya. And then, meron naman siya talagang vertex, di ba? Um, lalo na kung klarong-klaro na hindi equal yung mga uh, faces niya. Okay? And then, yan. So, this is, okay, ito may triangle na base. This is a triangular prism. Ito naman ay square ang base. This is a cube. Ha? Ito naman, ay, hindi pala base. Lahat pala ng faces niya ay square. Okay, not necessarily the base. Ito naman ay may rectangle as its base. So, this is a rectangular pyramid. And then, this one is tricky. Hala ma'am, hindi mo tinuro yan. Okay, kung titignan mo, ito dapat ang faces niya, di ba? Kasi, hindi naman equal yung mga faces dyan. Eh. Baka yung sa kabila nito sa likod ay malaki yung ano niya, di ba? So, ito yung mga faces Ba? Pero yung klarong-klaro na equal ay ito at saka sa kabila. Diba? And then kung titignan mo yung uh, figure ng ano niya, ng base niya, it's a trapezoid. Diba? So from the word trapezoid, this is just a trapezoidal prism. Okay? Right. So sana naintindihan. Okay? And thank you for watching.